So what I'm gonna do is just walk through a sample problem of percent of a number. Uh, I'll walk through a couple of them just so you really understand the steps that you can do. Now, there are two different ways to do it. We're gonna kind of walk through both uh, and, and sample them out. So let's give ourselves an example. Let's say we have 40 is what percent of 50? Now, the three things we need in percent of a number are part, whole, and percent. And in this problem, we have two of the three. We're looking for the percent, but we have the whole and we have the part. Look at it this way. It's like a test. 40 out of 50, what did you get? Well, there are two ways we can actually set this up. First way we can set this up is we can say 40 out of 50, and we can do the math, divide, and we can find out the answer. Just a hint, the answer is gonna be 0.8. Change 0.8 into a percent, you're gonna end up with 80%. Move that decimal over twice. Or we could set it up using our formula. 40 over 50 equals x over 100. So we end up with 4,000 equals 50x. When you divide, x equals 0.8. Just kidding, sorry. Long day, x equals 80, thank you. 80 over 100 is 80 percent. So that's percent, but I want to look at if we don't know the part. X over 50 equals 10, sorry, not 10, 0.5 over 100. That's right. Okay, so what this problem is asking us is I'll write this out in words very carefully. What is 0.5% of 50? Because 50 is our whole. So that's what this problem starts as, and this is how we can set it up. This is one way we can set it up. The other way we could set this guy up, now that we've written this out, what is 0.5% of 50? But well, we just have to multiply 50 times 0.5%. But 0.5% is not a decimal. You have to make it a decimal first. So to make it a decimal, move our decimal over twice, and we end up with 50 times 0 0.005. This is the same thing as this guy right here. Because, See this guy right here, this decimal? If we were to take this fraction and convert it to a decimal, what do you think we'd end up with? You're right. We'd end up with this guy right here. We move our decimal over once, move our decimal over once, five over a thousand. This is five thousandths. This is five thousandths. Multiply that by 50 and you'll get our answer of X. That's kind of looking at percent of a number using part of a percentages, using 0.5% or 0.13%. Uh, that's kind of what I wanted to look at. All right, now, we're moving on. Sixth graders can't hold still. We gotta get out of here. Good luck studying. I hope this helped a little bit. Uh, remember to study percent, part, uh, part, whole, percent. That'll help you with discount, markup, tax, all the rest. All right.